Hi, I'm Anissa. I'm from Mizoram and I paint. I usually do portraits and I usually work with watercolors. Sometimes I use a poster and ink in my work as well. The kind of paintings I do would be considered contemporary because I don't do a lot of Mizo traditional paintings. But when I do, I like to put my own twist into it and it's kind of fun, like especially working with the folk tales. I don't exactly remember when I started, but my mom told me when I was like three. But I do remember when I was around like, six or seven, I used to like watch my sister draw like so closely that it would like annoy her and I'd get pushed away. <laughs> but like I try to imitate her drawings and stuff. I've been sketching a lot since I was young, but I only started painting when I was like 18. It was kind of frustrating at first, but then eventually I got the hang of it. My style of painting is influenced by other contemporary artists like Brendan Boyd, Audrey Kawasaki, and Gabriel Moreno. Brendan Boyd, like, he's the lead singer of Incubus, which is like my favorite band. <laughs> when I found out that he painted, I checked it out and was like immediately amazed and absorbed because that was like the first time I saw work like that. He does a lot of line work and like I tried to incorporate it in my work. So that's like the root of it all. Audrey Kawasaki, she works with oil colors on wood, which is like different and interesting. And she has a lot of beautiful little intricate details, which are really interesting but not overbearing. Another is Gabriel Moreno. He, his line work is superb. The thing he does with hair is what I hope to be able to do one day. And another thing that influences me is anime. Even though it was like not very obvious in my work, it's always there in the background. The first time I saw anime was around six or seven. I saw it in an aunt's house and it was Ghost Sweeper. <laughs> and like I remember as soon as I got home I tried to like imitate their style of anime and stuff. So yeah, anime has always been a part of my life. <laughs> These people that influenced me also help me to challenge myself. I follow their pages along with other contemporary artists on Facebook and when I'm down or having an art block I like look at their updates and their pictures and be like these people are doing so many amazing things like what are you doing? Like, so yeah I try to use that to motivate myself to get off my butt and work and also I look at a lot of art books and it's good to look at them because there are a lot of techniques and different methods to do different things. It's good to experiment with them and like, try to incorporate that in your work. Also, I like to practice by looking at photographs. I think it helps me make my paintings a bit more realistic. And of course, practicing is always good. You should always practice. Sometimes even my own family will be looking at my paintings and be like, what's this? Why is this so weird? Why do your paintings give off such a creepy vibe? Who would want this? So yeah, at first I was like really hurt and well because it was coming from your own family. But now I just like learn to accept it, we see things differently and that it's not really their fault that they don't understand. In Mizoram, people don't really appreciate art as yet because like it's not their fault because we haven't been nurtured to appreciate art. What I would like for Miller is like, if we could like incorporate art into our education system. In most schools, like they don't have any club activities, and I really wish that they have like an art subject that they can be graded on, so that they take it seriously. <laughs> and then like, if there's like art activities in school, obviously there'll be like talents discovered and all. And hopefully, with the right encouragement, these talents would like want to pursue art further. And uh, if we had our own art college, like people would like finally understand and appreciate that being an artist is not like a waste of time. Like it's actually something worthwhile doing. So to my fellow artists and upcoming artists, um, if you like me, consider art to be something that keeps you up at night, that makes you forget to eat makes you forget your pain, like physical and emotional, and makes you want to go on when times are hard, makes you want to, sh like the thing that you want to share with the world, like just keep at it, don't give up, like I know this sounds cheesy, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and we're like eventually slowly making our way towards that light, and then one day, like hopefully, we'll all be able to 
walk around in the sun, like chase your rainbows and butterflies or unicorn or what have you. So yeah, keep at it. Don't give up.